Well, hey, everybody, welcome into this Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial brought to you as always by tutvid.com. We've been away for a little while, like four weeks to be exact. Every once in a while, I guess I have to decompress a little bit. I take on a little bit more client work than maybe I should, and things just get pulled away. I get pulled away from the channel a little bit, but I'm back and I'm rededicated. I'm refocused. I'm ready to rock and roll. I'm feeling good and strong and everything that I should be. Uh, this video today, this Premiere Pro tutorial is brought to us by our sponsor. That's productioncrate.com. They've got uh, loads of awesome video editing assets that you're sure to love, uh, love at an absurdly low price. Uh, basically, they support us. They support my channel. Uh, so if you like what you're seeing here, go check them out using the link in the description. Today, we're going to talk about how to create these really cool uh, transitions in Premiere Pro. It's so super easy to do. You're going to be kicking yourself, asking yourself why you haven't used this before. Uh, here's a quick preview of what we're going to be working on right now. Last summer, I made a trip to Havana, Cuba. I had a drink at La Bodaguita del Media, saw Moro Castle, the Museum of the Revolution, and Old Havana. I met a girl doing circles in a local square, and this crazy street performance I could hardly bear. Yeah, and now that you've seen that, let's just jump right into Premiere and check this thing out. So normally when you are working on anything in Premiere and you decide, hey, I want to transition, you would of course come to video transitions and say, ah, maybe I want a little cross dissolve, boom, drag it out on your video and you'd be done. You'd have your normal cross dissolve, but that's not, that doesn't make your friends go, whoa, that was cool. That doesn't make your video stick out. So one of the things that you can do is uh, use these things that you can download here. I've got some transition mats from my good friends at productioncrate.com and you can see here's a few of the uh, the mats. We're going to be working with this like hexagonal one um, and I don't remember which other ones. I downloaded a couple of these. We're going to be messing around with these. Um, so the first step would be you download them and then you grab them. I've got these three files here. I'm going to drag them right into my Premiere Pro project. I've got them there. And then here with the video, uh, basically it's just this goofy voiceover thing with some Cuban footage and it looks kind of cool so um, I was like yeah let's use this so the first thing would be we've got our first cut in the video right there right but we want some kind of interesting little cut of course so these transitions they don't work like you can't drag them out and drop them like that and say oh there's my transition see that looks really bad uh, it doesn't work like your normal transition we have to track mat these so here's here's what we're going to do I am going to grab my drone drone Cuba 2 clip here and this I want to move it up above uh, above the the area that I want kind of the transition to be created over so now I know that I have these two clips here the steady cam shot and street festival Cuba these are positioned exactly where I want them in relation to Drone Cuba 2. It's a, it's a bunch of mumbo jumbo for you. It just has to do with the way I've positioned everything here uh, for my project. I'm going to take this back to maybe right about here. I'm going to select these three clips. I'm going to drag them back just kind of something like that. So now you can see nothing's really changed, right? We go with one flyover to another flyover, still no transition. Well, here's where we choose the transition. Maybe we'll go, where's the hexagonal? Yeah, there's the hexagon one. I'm going to grab that. I'm going to drag and drop it right up here on top of this. And still nothing to write home about, right? Well, number one, we've got a few problems. Not really problems. It's actually a good problem to have. And that is that these transitions are big. They're in 4K and we're working in 1080p. So I'll probably right click on this and I'll just say, hey, look, scale down to the frame size first and foremost. See, I want a lot more hexagons. And there we go. Now we, we're getting the full hexagonal treatment. But in order to make this a mask, we need to apply an effect to the Drone Cuba 2 clip. So this is the basic uh, sort of recipe, if you will. Overlap your footage, apply your transition matte animation like this. And by the way, if you know how to use After Effects, you can create your own custom animations or you can download them online like I did from ProductionCrate.com. All right, let's take a quick break from this tutorial to give our sponsor today a mention, ProductionCrate.com. They have a wide variety of video editing assets, transitions, After Effects templates, flares, effects, sounds, and so much more. You just have got to check them out. Uh, they've got a bunch of stuff for free, but a subscription to access everything on the site. It's only $49 per year. That's $4.08 a month. It's practically nothing. Such a great price to access a, a pretty great library of video editing assets. Go support them for supporting me. Use the link down in the description of this video to check them out now and consider subscribing. It's really cool. They're really cool. Thank you guys so much. Let's get back to this tutorial right now.
what I'll do here is I will go to my effects and the effect I'm looking for is an effect called track matte key right there. If you just search for track, you got under video effects keying track matte key and I would drop this on the drone cuba 2 clip and what we're going to do is we're going to say, hey, a premiere, see up here in our effect controls panel, up here we've got track matte key and we're going to say, look, uh, the matte, we want the matte to be the video on video track number four. Why am I choosing video track number four? Well, V4 here, if I bring this out, ah, that's why, because all my hexagons are there. So I'm gonna click on Drone Cuba video clip two right there. I'm gonna say, look, matte using video four, and I'm gonna say, look, composite using matte alpha, just like that. And all I need to do now, I'm gonna mute the, the audio here just because it's kind of distracting. If I play through this, we have a really complex uh, animated transition that was so easy to, to create. And if I wasn't explaining it, it would have been even faster. It takes seconds to create. A couple things I want to point out. Um, because essentially we are unmasking the drone Cuba 2 clip, that's why I have it covering up this PNG lower third. This PNG lower third is just the, the, the text there that says Havana Cuba and has that little sort of navigation icon above it, right? So because the, the video is coming in above it, you can see that our text is automatically disappearing as well so it's just little things like that and just use your video tracks to your advantage all right so now that we've done that maybe when we get to the steady cam shot here we want this to be another cool transition well we've already kind of set this up i'm gonna just drag my timeline up a little bit further i'm probably gonna pop street festival cuba up onto its own track so i can have uh the the sort of transition mat that i'm gonna be track matting up here on its own v6 tracks so that we're gonna isolate v6 and let's just take any old transition so i'm gonna drop this in place great and again i would right click on it make sure i right click out on the footage not on that little fx icon right click on the footage scale to frame size looking good and now we would drag that track mat key and drop it on the steady cam shot we would go ahead and say, hey, Matt using V6, the video six track. And there we go. We have that transition now in place. You can see. There you go, just like that. And at this point, I can shorten this drone Cuba clip, you know, as long as it goes to the end of wherever that animation is. See, if I don't drag it out, like let's say I stop it here, what's going to happen is when that Cuba footage goes away, we're just going to see all that black video. That's bad. So you want to make sure that the, the old footage is around all the way until the new footage completely has appeared, and that's great. So last but not least, we'll take our last transition, apply it here above this sort of street festival uh, action. I'm going to drag a track matte key down and drop on the Street Festival Cuba. And we're going to say, look, matte using video track eight. And just like that, we will have yet another fancy, fancy transition happening right through there. Uh, and it's just so easy. I should probably right click on that, right? And say, look, scale to frame size. And you can do that. And it, uh, it's not going to destroy your footage or damage it or anything like that. And we just go through and we got this really cool little effect. So a whole lot of really, really cool stuff you can do here with these transitions in Adobe Premiere Pro. Don't sleep on using external animations for your projects. And yeah, that's going to be pretty much it for this tutorial. A whole lot you can do with these transitions. They're pretty readily available. Again, ProductionCrate.com has some great ones. I uh, hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, uh, make sure you hit the little subscribe button. Join us here on YouTube. And also, if you do the Instagram thing, follow me over on Instagram. There's always something cool going on over there. Um, and yeah, for taking a look at transitions, animations, using the track mat key, and a whole bunch of other little things uh, done very, very, very quickly in Adobe Premiere Pro, ladies and gentlemen, that's it. Get it, got it, good. Nathaniel Dodson, tutvid.com. I'll catch you in the next one. And before you go, make sure you subscribe to my channel for more great tutorials every day. Also, buy my course. It helps us do what we do, and this channel is supported by viewers just like you. You can also just click the thumbnail and watch another video from this channel. See you next time, guys.